Time to play with some play. All right, I, <clears throat> I had this uh, foam uh, thing that I got from uh, the dollar store. It's a long foam thing they play with in pools, but I thought, why not use it to... Uh, when I work on clay, and I, I thought I'd use it for this uh, war club because I've got to do uh, stitching down the uh, leather or the rawhide uh, wrap around the uh, the shaft of the uh, war club. And what better way to do this? I have. In my searching, found uh, a war club that's attributed. I found a war club that's attributed to Crazy Horse. Um, it's a reproduction of it, but uh, I'm showing the strap down here, a wrist strap, and uh, that's what I'm going to put on him. I also found this picture of a uh, knife and sheath that was. Uh, uh, at a museum, and it's attributed to uh, being owned by Crazy Horse uh, when they attacked uh, Custer uh, back in 1876. So, uh, got some good information there, too. Finally started raining. So I'm going to try this. I put a uh, armature for the uh, strap at the end of the uh, club. Let's see how this works. As with a lot of things with Crazy Horse, it was a plain strap. It wasn't exaggerated or overdone. All right, let's take a little break here. Uh, for a little self-promotion, Subs subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and click on that bell so that you get updated videos from my studio. Also, I'd love to have you comment and like my videos. Uh, this helps to promote my videos and I really need that. All right, let's get back to playing with my clay. Yeah, I got the uh, strap on the... Uh the wrist strap on the uh, war club and now now I'll do the uh, knife sheath I didn't get how many inches the uh, knife sheath was but I don't care I'm just going to do it and uh, if it looks right it looks right
That looks like a good size for a knife. figure out how I'm going to do this bead work. It was seed beads, so it's not a large set of beads. I'm not planning on doing a lot of colors, because then we start talking about big money for casting. If we do a traditional patina, not nearly as much. And these indentions will appear as dark lines. And that's the effect I want. If I was to have the patina person put every color in, the borders, the colors, and all that stuff, it would just be time-consuming and extremely costly. All right, that's uh, the clay to now. I'm just going to do a little more work on his hair tomorrow, but that's it for today. I got, oh, and also I've got to do the top of his uh, loincloth. I'm going to stick a fondue stick in there just to remind me to do that tomorrow. You get old age, you start forgetting things. <laughs> You got to do things to spark your memory. All right, that's going to be it for tonight. And uh, I'm liking it a lot. All right, good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.